Hello, everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, I get that there's a lot of stress going on right now. Tonight's a big episode. It's a big bloom episode. And crazily, we only just shot it as well. Like the turnaround is so quick on these things. Like we shot it right before Christmas. Um, so it's all still very fresh in my mind. I've got quite a few questions. Uh, hang on one second. Can everybody see me? Hi. Hello. Night, everyone. Oh, people who are waking up at like three in the morning. You guys are amazing. And I'm going to say this. So if you've got to get to bed, get to bed. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything worth losing sleep over because I can't give anything away, obviously, because I don't want to ruin tonight's episode because it's such a good one. Um, and it's directed by the brilliant Stephen Kay. Everybody has really strong moments in this episode. Um, but yeah, like in true New Amsterdam fashion, it's going to leave everyone feeling a little... Anyway, I've got some great questions. Thank you, everyone. I think there was like over 100 questions in the last two hours that came through. And I obviously don't have time to answer all of them. But I have picked a few. Somebody has asked if there is anything exciting happening with Bloom uh, when she comes back because she deserves a break. And Bloom's had a pretty exciting season, really, when you think about it. You think about the evolution of Bloom and the relationship with Layla. Because we, you know, we're, we really only just shot this episode, I really don't want to give anything away. I know that David Shulner and all the writers love Bloom and I think as much as they can, they try to give her a break when they can, but it makes the payoff of the good things even better when you feel like you've seen someone go through such hardships and I think Bloom is that character. Um, and it's fun for me to do it as well. I think, you know, we look we look to stories to to kind of fill our own shadow or fulfill our own shadow, should I say, because we've all got dark sides within us. So when you've got a character like Bloom that keeps coming on your television, you can you can relate with her, but also you can she satisfies something of that darkness in your in your own life. Um, and so I think that's super exciting. And I, I hope that she stays as, as complex as she has. But of course, I wish her all the happiness. Um, and I think she's going to get there. I think she will. Hi, Argentina. Hi, everybody. Hi, Saudi Arabia. Oh, my gosh. This is like, this is a family world affair right now. I love it. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question we expect between the reunion between Casey and Bloom this is a really tough one for me because I've really missed working with Alejandro um and you know when he started in the first season Alejandro is a little bit younger than me uh and sort of at the beginning of his career and I've got to watch him grow as an actor which has been it's been incredible. Like, he's so wonderful. But I've got to see the evolution of who he's becoming as an actor and see him improve in ways that I... I it's weird to say that I feel so proud of him. Um, and it's so great to have him back on set. I really, truly miss him. I think what he does for, for Bloom's character um, is really important. You know, it's to have that person to bounce off to have that relationship it gives us it gives us more access to bloom because she's quite a closed off person so yeah i think that the reunion is it's difficult 
but hang in there, you know? It's, uh, they're, they're true friends. So I think eventually these two are gonna be okay, but he's really the only person that can stand up to Bloom and say, no, 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 this is, this is not on. And she knows that he is being truthful with her and I think she will listen to him. I think it's really painful that she's upset him. Um, so it might take them a little beat, but I think they're gonna get there. Hi, Brazil. Hi, Brazil, hi, Indonesia. I could do this all night. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, curious, have you ever done a film scene in Vancouver, Canada? I have, I actually shot my first uh, like series regular role on a TV show which was called Human Target um, with uh, Jackie L. Haley and Indira Varma, incredible actors, uh, Mark Valley on Fox. We shot that there, so I lived there for about six months. It was a lot of fun. Uh, okay, hi Australia. Jamaica, Jamaica, I got married in Jamaica. Jamaica, you've got my heart. I need to come back to Jamaica. Philippines, never been. I know I'm gonna love it. Paraguay, this is so incredible. I, I can't even believe like that there are this many people around the world that are interested to hear what I have to say right now. Ecuador, hi Netherlands. Okay, I'm gonna do the next question. Guatemala, never been, would love to come. Oh. There's a United Kingdom flag. You know me. Hi, New Zealand. Hi, Peru. Hi, Chile. Uruguay. How difficult is it for me to switch accents? It's at this point, I've been doing this now for a while. You know, I've been playing Bloom for four years. It's the longest I've ever played any character before. And everyone around me is American except for a few rogue Brits, like uh, our Lady Sharp. So it's okay. It gets harder when I haven't done it for a while. So after a break, so going home to England at Christmas and coming back and having to switch back into Bloom or during the pandemic when we were off for like six months, it felt like I just didn't even remember how to do an American accent. Um, but I've said this before, I, I think that training is so important and a good actor is constantly learning and I'm lucky enough to have great teachers. So I still work with my dialect coach. Um, he's amazing, Sam Lilia. And it gives me a set, it gives me a, a confidence that I need in order to switch into the accent when I feel like I've done the work beforehand. And that's on every episode. Like I. I have to do that every episode for my own for my own confidence on the set so I feel like I can switch into it. Um but I still get things wrong. I mean, luckily I'm around wonderful people who tell me in a way that doesn't hurt my feelings, but I, of course I still I still mess up here and there. Um very occasionally obviously, but it still happens. Hi Brazil. Okay. Let's see what other questions. Oh, Puerto Rico. No, I've never been. I've never been and I would love to go. So give me your address. I'll come stay with you, yeah? Good question. What would I say is Bloom's theme tune when she walks into a room? Hmm. Well, I'm really, I don't know if this is Bloom, but recently, me and my daughter are really into the song, I'm just a love machine, and I won't work for nobody but you. So every morning, it's really cold in our living room. We put it on and we dance around to that song. Um, what do I think Bloom's song would be when she enters a room? I think it's gotta be something like Eye of the Tiger, um, or like Eminem. Uh, lose yourself. It's got to be something that's got that darkness to it, but a real bite to it because she's so tough, you know. Yeah, I think I think maybe lose yourself. Eminem would be what she listened to to psych herself up to enter a room. Oh, hi, Anne Janelle, eighteen. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday! 
happy birthday. Thank you for spending it with me. I know, by the way, I feel like the biggest disappointment for people is that I'm not American, that I don't speak the way Bloom does. And would you like guys just like me to switch into being Bloom right now? Just say right now if you would like me just to answer all these questions as Bloom. Okay, there's a lot of hearts going on. Do I do it? Do I switch into Bloom? Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna leave the frame and I'm gonna come back into it again. Hi, uh, I do this actually for my daughter. Bloom doesn't have a daughter, but she likes me to be Dr. Bloom when she hurts herself, so that's what I do. Um, hi everybody, how's it going? No, it's too, I can't do it. I can't, I can't. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I love you all so much. Okay, I've got some more questions here. Hi. Okay, if I could describe this season in three words. Hmm. That's such a difficult question. I think... I think I'm going to describe bloom season in three words. I think that's easier for me. Um, rocky is the first. It's the first word I would use. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to scrap rocky, and I'm just going to say all or nothing. And I think that is a place that Bloom feels like she's in this season and it really comes to a climax tonight and actually I shot a scene with uh, the lovely Freema that I stepped onto the set and I felt like I didn't feel like I was going to get to the emotional place that the scene required and I was a bit nervous about it and I was like oh god I mean that sometimes that happens as an actor right and you just have to you have to be honest. You have to be honest in your work because if you're trying to push something that isn't there, then it just looks kind of naff, you know? But it came once we actually, like we did the rehearsal, wasn't much coming from me. <laughs> and then we got into the, the meat of the scene and we started shooting it and it just came. And I think that, you know, I credit the writers for that because it's such brilliant writing. Um, and I credit my scene partner, obviously, uh, Freema, who plays Dr. Sharp. I think that there's a, there's a real kind of shift that's gonna happen after tonight's episode, um, especially for Bloom. But in order to, to Bloom, to Bloom, <laughs> in order to Bloom, I think that things are gonna get there's a rock bottom, you know? So, have I said too much? I don't know. You haven't got long to wait though. And I realize that there are people all around the world on this right now and I don't know, like, I'm really hoping that you have access to watch tonight's episode. Um, oh, someone's just asked if I've ever played another LGBTQ character before, Lauren. I, I did an indie movie actually um, with Emma Roberts um, called In A Relationship and I did in that movie and we had some like I had a very small part in it but we had some lovely scenes together um so yes I have I have before what's the best part of being an actress I mean getting to play <laughs> that's the best part of being an actress getting to play for a job um and tell stories like when I when I'm working late and my daughter's like, I want you to come home. I'm like, I've just got a little bit more of this story to tell. And then I get to come home. And she seems to understand that. So yeah, it's like the best job in the world. Uh, next question is, will we be seeing more of Bloom's family uh, in the show? And I've spoken to David Shulner about this. There is one 
one member of my family I'm really hoping we get to meet. Um, I don't know yet, but I've definitely been like, and I obviously love working, um, I love working with, with the characters from my family and I love the backstory of it. I hope that it happens, but you know, we've got like five main characters now and we've all got stories to tell and it's, you know, it just depends, but hopefully, hopefully we get to see more of Bloom's family. I'm totally up for it. I think that's, that's the real, that's the re a real way to get to know Bloom better. You know, you really get into her psyche once you see what she grew up around and the characters within her family. Uh, someone just asked, what's it like in between, uh, in between takes on set? Well, we don't have much time in between takes. So we shoot the show super quick. And, you know, our DP and all of our crew, they work so hard, guys. I can't even tell you. It's like, I'm just in awe of all of them. They're like constantly on the go, making stuff happen. And... So we have pretty short breaks in between, like maybe like 10 minutes would be the maximum in between takes, I think, on our show. And mostly it's between like five and 10 minutes. I sometimes will go to my room so I can quickly like FaceTime my daughter or look over my lines or just take a, sometimes I need like a, I operate sometimes better depending on what the scene is where I have a little break from everyone and then I step back in. But I also like to be social too, and we've got um, we've got some big scenes coming up. Oh, well, scrap what I just said. I didn't say anything. You didn't hear anything. Okay, tattoo on hand. Yeah, I've actually got quite a few tattoos actually. I've got quite a few tattoos. This is a little one. This is actually we get to keep this one for Bloom. And then I've got a couple on my arms. This is this is a pretty cool tattoo. This one here. Now, obviously, we don't show that one because Bloom isn't from England and she probably doesn't really give a rat's ass about the Queen. Uh, but I do. So, and also both my parents worked for Royal Mail and so there was something quite nice about having a stamp. Um, yeah. Next question is, which character would I most like Lauren to interact with more? Hmm, that's a good question. I really, I really love all the different interactions. I think, I think the casting of this show is so brilliant that you kind of, you watch the show and you're like, oh, why don't I get to work with that person more? Like, I'd really be interested to see how that, that relationship would blossom. Um... I know that it's probably a controversial thing to say, but I really like working the little work that I did with Veronica. I know you guys aren't fans. I get it. She's evil, but I really enjoyed working with her because she's a brilliant actress. Um, and so I think I would like to maybe have some more scenes with her. Been my favorite scene to shoot so far of season four and I always worry about questions like this because you shoot so many scenes you don't want to upset anyone that you've shot a scene with and it's just like the first one that comes to my head and I think it's because I, I selfishly had a kind of acting breakthrough and it's in the episode tonight but it was one where the one that I was just talking about where I said that I was like oh just not gonna get the nothing's happening emotionally and then it happened and I think it's probably like the best feeling as an actor when you when you don't when you kind of don't put an expectation on yourself and you go okay I'm just gonna let this be what it is even if the script says she's crying she's breaking down and you just go I'm just gonna let this be what it is of the place that I'm in right now and something really magical happened um, 
so I really go hope you guys really enjoy it. Yeah, it's a Shah Bloom scene. That's right. That's right. It's a Shah Bloom scene. Okay. Uh, I obviously can't tell you guys if I'm leaving or not because why would I ruin it for you? You guys are literally just about to watch it. Um, and if you're not going to watch it, then it's going to be all over the internet at some point real soon. Guys, this has been so fun. Oh, no, don't make me feel bad for leaving. Oh, don't make me feel bad for leaving. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, I'm going to have to go. I've got to wash my hair. I've got to take this makeup off my face. I've got to get into this bed, take off these clothes and get some sleep and watch the show because it's coming on in 35 minutes. So I've got to do all those things before it starts. Um, I really love you all and I love how passionate you are about Bloom and how patient you are with the storylines. I know she, I know she's not the easiest character sometimes and she does things that it's like, oh, I read the scripts and I'm like, and I'm doing it, but it's real, right? There's like a, either you are a bit Bloom and we've all got a little bit of Bloom in us whether you want to admit it or not, or you know a bloom. It takes you a little, She's her heart is in the right place. I do think that she's really getting it at all ends right now. And she's done some selfish things, a lot of it out of fear of losing the things that she had. Who can say that they've not operated that way? I don't know. I think we all have at some point. I'm a bloom myself, someone just said. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with a little bloom, is there? Um, mwah, mwah. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. This was so much fun. I promise I will do one again soon. And I really hope you guys enjoy the show tonight. Message me after you guys watch it. Don't freak out. Mwah. Good night, guys. <laughs>